Have you ever found yourself in a particular situation and suddenly you felt a rush of adrenaline? Of course you have, and this reaction in your body is sometimes called the fight or flight response, or in more scientific terms, an acute stress response. Your body releases a flood of hormones and you prepare for danger. And this has been going on since men walked around with spears on the lookout for ferocious saber-toothed cats. It's quite a thing to happen to you, and when it does, your heart rate will increase as will your blood pressure and breathing rate. It might even be an hour before you settle down again. But did you know a mere noise can set the response off? Let's now have a look at what sounds cause this. Just so you know, according to Harvard Health, the acute stress response can happen when information is sent to the brain from the eyes, but also the ears. The information is sent to a part of the brain called the amygdala and it's interpreted, after which it sends a distress signal to another part of the brain called the hypothalamus. As many of you know, sometimes we overreact, but hey, we need this survival mechanism. Number 7. Ghosts and Ghouls during the Vietnam War, the American military quite literally wanted to freak Vietnamese soldiers out. They planned a psyops operation called Operation Wandering Soul, and part of this was to use noises to scare the soldiers. They pretty much made a mixtape that they knew would put those soldiers on edge. The American psychologists were well aware that ghosts in this part of the world are taken seriously, so they got to work. They made something called Ghost Tape Number no. 10, which is kind of a mashup of a Buddhist funeral music with just a lot of horrible sounds. It was certainly not something the Vietnamese soldiers wanted to hear at night as they hid in the jungle. The Americans would usually attach great big speakers to boats and helicopters and then press play. Have a listen to this tape now. One commander said this about the noise they created. The tape was so effective that they were instructed not to play it within earshot of the South Vietnamese forces because they were as susceptible as the Viet Cong or North Vietnamese army. He said it totally freaked those guys out and made them think about their wandering dead compatriots and the fact that they could be next. This was the war, of course, but there's reasons we have something called scary music. It's used in horror movies for the express purpose of getting under your skin and kicking off that fight or flight response. The tape worked worked on the Vietnamese soldiers, but different kinds of music or sounds that remind you of death or dying or ghosts or ghouls will similarly trigger a response in you. Number 6. Radio Gaga now and again, people report hearing plain, freaky things coming out of the radio. These transmissions lead to the stress hormones filling the brain, and in this case, it's not so much that it reminds people of something, like those Vietnamese soldiers thinking of death. It's just the fact that the unknown puts us on edge. You might have all said at one time in your life, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? The unusual freaks us out, because it could spell danger. It's the same with images. If you suddenly see something you've never seen before hobbling down the street at night coming toward you, you will likely feel a rush of blood to the head. It might get closer and you just realize it's some dude dressed up, but for the ensuing minutes, you'll still be in fight or flight mode. Sounds cause the same reaction. If one day you're listening to songs on the radio and then you hear something weird spill out, you'll be rocketed into fight or flight mode. Here's an example of what people have heard through their radios. And listen to this one which New Yorkers might have heard on WKCR radio in 1995. It freaked out a lot of people for good reason, and they were all in fight or flight mode. No one knows where this came from. Some people think it was just something to do with the paranormal, but more down-to-earth thinkers feel it was likely just someone experimenting. The radio station is owned by a university, so it might have been a student just messing around. Number 5. Loud Bangs we might be stating the obvious here, but loud bangs come in many shapes and sizes, and you might not know that they are continually stressing you out. That's one reason, besides protecting your hearing, that you might want to wear ear protection. Gunshots, of course, stimulate your brain in this way, but even the distant sound of a car crash or a crate falling, or if you're unlucky enough, an earthquake wrecking a building will trigger a lot of adrenaline. Even if you live in a really noisy city or a noisy factory, you could continually be putting yourself under tremendous stress. Then there are explosions, and trust us, if you hear one of these as you're sitting in the park pondering the meaning of life, your brain will be totally flooded and you'll be sent right into fight or flight mode. For good reason, loud bangs quickly make us think about survival. Listen to this and we'll get you there now. Or listen to this.
the sound of an earthquake that was captured in Iran. Hear this and you'll soon consider the option of flight. Number 4. Rising Tones or Screams We associate a rising tone with something bad because it makes us think something is going to go off. It's kind of like listening to a panic attack. Oh god, what's the sound and what's going to happen? This makes you think you're in danger. Listen to this. Here's another example. We might also consider the rising sound of a voice. When someone squares up to you, you might not immediately consider them a threat. Sometimes people will use their voice to frighten you, so they get louder and louder. This is supposed to put you in either fight or flight mode. Usually they might just want you to go away, to run away. But now your stress hormones are well and truly flooding into your brain. You're looking at that person and you decide, nah, I choose fight. It's the same when we hear a scream. We know that sound means something terrible has happened, and if you're walking down the street and you hear this around the corner, well, you'll definitely feel the immediate onset of stress. That's now stressed us out as we compile this list, but the scream is there for a good reason. It prepares us, and so it's good for us in many cases. Hail the scream. Number 3. Good Alert Systems these are there for good reason too, and that's to warn you that something very bad is coming your way. Imagine the USA was under threat of a nuclear attack or had just been attacked. You would hear an alert and it's supposed to put you in fight or flight mode. The United States has something called the Emergency Alert System or EAS. It might be sounded to warn you about an attack, but also some very bad weather is coming your way. Have a listen to one example. We interrupt this program. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. That might not sound too bad, but trust us, if you heard it being played really loud in the streets, you'd get stressed by it. During the war, when the UK was being bombed from above, citizens would hear the air raid alarm, and this would put folks into fight or flight mode. Here's what this sounded like to those scared Brits. But it's the Japanese early warning sounds for earthquakes and tsunamis that sound really awful. And the Japanese are well aware that if they hear this, destruction could be not far away. When people heard it after the not too recent Japanese tsunami, they would quickly follow the subsequent order to get to higher ground. In this case, no one obviously chose fight as a response, since torrents of water filled with tons of dangerous debris is not something someone can fight. Flight is the only option. Here's how that sounds. Bad alert systems. The last alert you need to hear is one that's broken, but according to some sources in Chicago, they had an alert that was messed up. We looked into this and it seems it wasn't broken, it was just there to get them moving. It's a really horrible sound, no doubt, leading some people to call it the ice cream truck from hell, and the most evil thing in the world. Imagine you heard this in a neighborhood near you. That's just creepy, and you'd think the local government was purposefully trying to drive people mad. If you heard that, you might not hide from a tornado, but start loading your gun. In this case, we think Chicago might have gotten it wrong, because while alerts are supposed to get you prepared for something dangerous, they're not there to make you freeze and possibly urinate on the spot. This is the reason when bad weather is on its way, you don't hear sounds like the screams we played earlier. As one person wrote in a comment under the video of this alert, man Chicago, you know how to scare away the tornado and all of the city. Number 1. Angry Animals Last but not least, animal sounds might induce fight or flight mode, and we're not talking about birds chirping or puppies barking. Let's try and set the scene. Close your eyes for a moment and pretend you're not watching YouTube and instead are camping out in the woods and are all snug in your tent. You're awake, but on your way to sleeping. 
and then you hear one of these sounds right at the side of the tent. With such sounds, you might consider either fight or flight, but we're guessing if you're not armed, staying put might be the best option. That said, when you see the tent get shredded, fight might be your only option. Here are the sounds. Guess what animals they were? In order, they were lion, alligator, tiger, elephant, and gorilla. For your own safety, you better hope it was the gorilla outside your tent. So then, which of these sounds freaked you out the most? Do you feel in fight or flight mode now after watching this? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other episodes, scary internet websites you should never visit. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.